And if we look at the tail of the tape here, not much between them in age. The taller man, the Brazilian. The record, though, with Daly in those 24 KOs in his 33-fight win record. And so we are ready for our big main event now of the evening. So let's go to our MC, Mike Markham, for the official announcement. From Birmingham, England, LG Arena, we are live and worldwide. We are set for the Battle 14 main event of the evening, presented by Lonsdale. Visit them at lonsdale.com. The following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Bama welterweight division. Introducing first, the man standing to my right and fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 170 and three quarter pounds. He is a mixed martial artist. His record, 23 victories, opposite 11 defeats with a one draw. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, USA, by way of Fortaleza, Brazil, Comadio Manuel Junior Killer Da Silva. The opposition comes in the form of the man standing across the cage to my left and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall. His official weight, 169 and one half pounds. He is a Muay Thai kickboxing specialist. His record, 33 victories, opposite 13 defeats with two draws. Please welcome the internationally renowned striker and world-class knockout artist, fighting out of Nottingham, England, Paul Sintek Daly. Your referee, Mark Goddard. Ladies and gentlemen, exactly what I expect. Keep yourself protected at all times. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do this. Frank, he may be controversial, he may have had these issues, but the fans love him. You could hear that they raised the roof with his name. He is a genuine fan favorite. Everything about Paul Daly is, is you know, says fighter. Everything he does is about fighting and about being, you know, being the explosive fighter that he is. Fans love a guy like that that can come in with one punch and the entire night. Yes, I mean, across any discipline, a KO specialist, you get the fans' attention. They do they do follow you, they do go for you. And then you add that extra spice of the other things in his life, and it's dynamite, isn't it? He's a great entertainer. People pay attention to him all the time. If you can keep himself focused on the fight game, let other people handle all of his other interests outside the fight game, he'd be a much better fighter and, and will propel himself to the top, which is what I think he's trying to do now. Well, I do a lot of... Um, seen him at a lot of the small hall shows where he's putting his own fighters out mm -hmm. and as a coach you wouldn't believe how calm and respectful and quiet he is you cannot believe it's the same man when he's bringing his own fighters and bringing them through the ranks in these small hall shows i, I can believe it because it's a different concept when, you, when you're dealing with, with a guy that you train and a guy that makes you feel you know a guy that that uh, that you you have a vested interest in and trying to show how good he is or what he does and, and that and to prove to the world that he has that ability to 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 fight in the battle you know, he's a different guy uh, when, when, you, when, it's your, when it's your children almost is, is kind of what it's like as a coach. So, he's, you know, he's different with those, with those kind of guys when he goes and fights in these smaller shows and he's trying to get back to the community they gave to him and, and now it's starting to pay dividends for him here later on. But picking up on what you said when they were coming to the cage, it looks like De Silva is not going to change his tactics. He said he probably won't, he probably can't. And looking at this, he hasn't. You know, he's staying right in the pocket, stalking forward. Paul's actually having to take a half step back out and keep him at distance. You know, it's it's a uh, it's, it's very interesting to see how that that the Silva knows that it's a guy that has has crazy amount of knockouts, 24 knockouts, and, and still will stay in the pocket. With him. Well, at the moment, Semtex looking to take that lead leg at every opportunity of the Silva, chopping away at it. He's taking his time. He's working his way in, but he is slowly but surely closing that gap. Very, much more patient, Paul Daly, than seen in the past. He's taking his time. Stopping him against the cage, and you're right, shoulder, slow the shoulder. He's getting inside, he's pushing him backwards, gives a little bit of ground, you know, gives, gives a step or two backwards, and then circles him up and takes a step or two forward to put him back against the cage again. That's what chops at that lead leg, and knee already marked and red of the silver. And 
De Silva still there in the pocket, still within trading range of Daly. De Silva's trying to counter punch a little bit. Every time that Paul comes in, he's trying to offset him by, by throwing punches. But only if he punches, if he kicks, he just takes the kick. You take too many more of those kicks against that knee or that, that, that thigh, he's going to have serious problems here pretty quick. He won't be able to walk on it. Well, Frank, I was just about to say he's got to start checking. He's just ignoring them, and that's a dangerous thing to do. I think Daly got his respect with that left there. That's a nice stiff jab. And I don't know about you, I suddenly felt the Silva's demeanor change there in that exchange. He the backed look on his face. Off, yeah, he backed off a little bit, his body language, he got a little stung by it. See, everything everything that Silva throws is a big, heavy haymaker. It's a hooking, looping punch trying to catch something. He doesn't have real technique behind it. Where Daly's th throwing straight punches, so he punches and gets out of the way. Silva's, Silva's missing a lot, and then he's getting hurt now, so he's really starting to upset everybody. And he's working behind a very solid, very orthodox traditional jab. Very smart. Box his way in a little bit, sweet science, and hit him with that big overhand right and put him down on the canvas. He's trying to find a way to get to a KO. And the fact that De Silva is still there, still standing with him, will suit him perfectly. Yeah, he does, Paul does very well against guys that sit in his pocket. He's able to find a way in, he's able to find a way out. Doesn't get touched very much, but can touch them quite a bit. It's, it's the wrestlers, the grinders, the grapplers who get inside and stay, inside, stay deep inside of his pocket that he has problems with. Guys will take him down and lay on him and hold him there. moment he's had a really good look at the silver very patient pace stepping up now here in the last minute of the opening round and the silver has had a couple of successes as you said but daily tight guard and he steps in and out and was looking for that right hand there he really has taken that one extra step in now he missed he missed with that right hand I think because it wasn't he got upset a little bit if that right hand had connected, it would have been a big problem. Now, Silva's throwing heavy leather now, too. He's coming back even harder now. And Paul's got to be careful. He keeps his hands down like that. Even though he's, mi he's missing right now, eventually he's going to get caught. Yeah, he, Daly's got the head movement there. But as you said, that right hand, he's throwing with real intent. And then right at the end of the round, in this last 20 seconds, Daly it is that goes for the hookup. He steps in looking for the quick takedown, trying to, you know, trying to solidify the round, let the judges know, hey, I won the round because I'm the guy with the takedown. But... Didn't happen, he's got pressure against the cage, so he still, still wins this round by controlling everything. Good job by Paul Daly this round. But there's also the... There's also the weight of expectation constantly on him, though, aren't, isn't there? The thing is, when you've got that reputation, when you've got that KOs, you may have the patience, but sometimes the fans don't. Yeah, and that's the thing is that you got to not listen to it. A guy like Paul Daly can't listen to the, to the crowd. Every time you hear the crowd cheering, every time he gets a kick, hey, hey, like they want, you know, they're trying to cheer him on, let the judges know, hey, our guy's winning, but you can't follow the crowd. You got to do what you know is right inside that inside that cage. And right now, Paul's trying to hit that over, heavy overhand right. That one missed. That would have been the knockout punch if he had landed it. He just missed it. But the silver, as you said, has planted his feet and looked for the heavy shots himself. Yeah, yes, and it's, it's becoming an issue where, where now he feels threatened and he's starting to throw as many big heavy punches as he can because he's worrying about getting caught himself and that makes him more dangerous. Now towards the end of that first round, we still Paul Daly take that extra step in, just that little bit closer and turn up the pace. Do you think he's going to turn it up yet again here in the second? Feeling out process is done, he, he knows his time, he knows his rhythm, you'll see Paul step out even harder now. And he will, I hope, be aware of that right hand because De Silva is not frightened to throw it. And as it looks like for me, his best chance if he's going to get a shock here. Yeah, he's going to, you know, De Silva's looking first. He's not going to outbox Paul Daly. He doesn't look like his guy's going to try to shoot on him and take him down. At all. He's getting his leg kicked out from underneath him. The only way he can really do anything to Paul Daly is catch him. And that's making catch him. Paul's kicking. He takes a half step in, sacrifices his leg to get, a, to get a punch to the head and hopefully drop Paul. That's right. The right hand counted to the right leg kick. Traditional kickboxing move. But, oh, and he's landed cleanly for the first time, Daly, now, as they both threw right hands. And you feel the closing down process now, don't you? Yeah, he's getting closer. You can see the distance now between them. The camera angles are even getting tighter as they start prepping into each other. They're getting each other's wheelhouse now a little bit better, right in each other's zones. And they got to find out who's going to win this one. Paul has the better punching, but it doesn't mean that Silva can't catch him. So this fight can still go either way. Oh, as you said that, they both landed. So Silva slips, and you can hear the crowd response. Daly pushing forward again with the body shot now. 
De Silva looks like a wounded animal now, Frank. His nose is cut. Paul got hurt. Paul got stung a little bit right there. So he's swinging widely. De Silva swinging widely is very difficult to, to, to defend against because no matter what you're throwing, he's throwing a big heavy punch right during it. Not even after it. At the same time that you're throwing, he's throwing. But well, it's like that old cliche of the... Oh! What a perfect drop. We hit the trifecta. We got the TKO, we got a submission, and we got a KO. We hit him. I was just saying he was like a cornered animal fighting back at every opportunity. And that left, as you said, was fainted. Look at him. He fainted it. The left came over. He was out before he hit the canvas. That's a smart friend. He felt every time they throw the overhand right, slip over to his to his right side and slip over to Paul's left to get out of it. So Paul faces, make him drift to hit him with a heavy uppercut. That's the end of it. There's no way to catch a guy like that when he's gonna outwork your own movement. It's what we call in the trade. That's a show real punch. Yes, absolutely. That's that's another highlight reel. The silver still he's still down, he's still out. And, and, you know, he's gonna be okay, he's waking up right now, but it's gonna be a situation where, this, you know, that is, he'll go back and look at that tape and realize that's a bit of an issue. So, we'll be back with the official reactions very shortly.